New York Governor Andrew Cuomo says today his state will begin what he calls the most aggressive antibody testing program in the country. Cuomo says New York can conduct up to 2,000 antibody tests per day to determine who has been infected. Our chief medical correspondent, Dr. John LaPook, joins us with more on that. So, John, let's start with the antibody test. He says there are two different kinds. What are they and how are they different? Well, the two different antibodies, again, remember that the antibody is to see whether you've been exposed, whether you per perhaps have protection. It's not to show whether you have active infection. That's the PCR. That's the nasal and throat swab. The two types of antibody tests are uh, the traditional ELISA, E-L-I-S-A, which look, it, we've have similar things for measles, mumps, rubella. It's technically not a hard thing to do. And it tells you sort of the degree of antibody that you have. The other is a more rapid test that is, looks more like a pregnancy test. And you see whether there's a line there or not. There's a control that says, okay, it's working. And then if there's a line horizontally, it says, okay, you have an antibody. It doesn't tell you how much antibody. So who can get the test? Everybody wants to have that test, right? I think there's not anybody in the country, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> maybe there are a couple who don't want to have it. They want to know, gee, that cold that I had six weeks ago, I wonder if that was uh, coronavirus and whether I might have some degree of protection. Uh, but right now, it's slowly rolling out. I, I know my sister is up in, near Saratoga, and she said there was a price chopper. She sent me a little Facebook posting where people were lined up, hopefully far enough apart from each other, inside to try to wait. They were waiting for hours to get this antibody test over the weekend. So I know everybody wants to get it. And that the reason for it is that we have had this uh, friction between do we save the economy or do we try to handle COVID-19? Well, you can get your arms around both. If you find out, for example, that you were, uh, have antibody, you were exposed, then it's possible. There's a big asterisk. We're not sure how, how protected you are, but it's possible you could consider then going back to work. That still has to be worked out. Mm -hmm. Do you have any concerns about the accuracy of the test? Absolutely. So at the very beginning, uh, there wasn't that much control. A lot of them, dozens and dozens, got rolled out. And we know that there were false positives and false negatives. I heard of one, for example, that tested positive just if you've been exposed to any member of the coronavirus family. Remember that the coronavirus is a family of, of viruses, and, and about a third of the common cold is a coronavirus. So the last thing you want is a false positive or false negative. It's better to have no test than to have an inaccurate test. And the FDA is really yeah, John, you know, honest now. I think there are only a handful. Realistically, John, do you think we can go back to life as normal without an effective treatment or a vaccine? And I'm wondering what you think as a doctor when you see the protests that are clearly not practicing social distancing. Yeah, I think that it's going to be a new normal. Uh, unless, until we get a vaccine that we know is effective. That's the ultimate backstop, but that's at least a, about a year away, and we're not sure, there's no guarantee it's going to work. Until then, I think the reason why we need this testing, which is both the PCR looking to see if you have the infection or the antibody, is to get our arms around and find out who's got it, who, uh, who doesn't have it, and we can try to slowly try to reopen parts of the country. Without that, we're, we're, we really are not going to know what we're doing. We're going to be driving blind. All right, John, thank you very much.